Whew. Well then, let's get this show going. What is up? My fellow Tarhans, I'm Captain Baines. And welcome back to High Fleet Flight to Haravera. It's uh, been a while since I have made a video about this, but uh, you know what? Let's just not worry about that right now. So, to give a very quick and a very not complicated briefing on what's going on, our main fleet is being repaired at the hidden city of Nomads and is also receiving some fuel. Alright, okay, that's the main fleet. These guys right here with an Eri and a Lightning are actually just sitting here at Manastir, the intel station, and they're just gonna stay there until they get enough intel to give us intel for uh, intel. And then we get intel, and then we take a look at intel, and then intel, intel, intel. The guys at Pedapolis here are just a bunch of lightnings and an Argilos, which is an aircraft carrier. We also are returning this Yars uh, back to Pedapolis. Uh, if you remember from the last episode, I tried to use this Yars to launch a bunch of missiles into Duma. Duma! And basically I tried to missile strike that one little aircraft carrier in there, which... Um, <clears throat> to put it quite rather politely, it didn't really go as expected. It's still alive. How the fuck, man? You, you bitch! Because of this, what I want to do today is pretty much just kick some rebel ass with a bunch of lightnings. That's all that we're going to do today. So, really our main objective like as of right now, is Duma. Duma! And the way we're gonna go there is we're gonna first silent strike Viskrim, which is another town that's uh, near it. And we will have an angle from both this and also from here to reach this uh, rebel stronghold, otherwise known as uh, Duma! All right, so, uh, Let's just prepare this fleet right here of uh, all of these lightnings and we're gonna first strike Viskri and then we're gonna go for Duma. All right, I feel like that's a good plan. So, you know what, let's go. Okay, so let me just give these guys a little bit of fuel so that they would have enough fuel to go for Viskri and Duma at the same time and we don't have to refuel the whole entire thing again at uh, Viskri and yeah we're pretty much just going to I'm probably going to edit both of these battles together unless something happens in between so all right once we're ready we are heading off All right, so first is the Battle of Viskri, so let's go. All right, so this actually doesn't really look that bad. Uh, let's just equip a lightning with proximity fuses, just to avoid some of the missiles and also these planes right here on this Argilos. But I'm going to try not to use it too much. So, okay, let's uh, <laughs> let's go. Let's go, bitches! Alright, where are you guys? Come here, Argilos. You are this little thing that I want to kill first, because you have planes, and planes are annoying as shit. Believe it or not, planes in tactical combat are actually quite annoying. Especially if your ship has almost zero armor. So why is my screen black half the time, like, bro? I don't like it when it's black. Okay, the Argilos is basically dead. 
let's just... Okay, he's dead. Mm -hmm. Now the Navarin. Okay, can you please shut your 57mm ass up? He just did. Thank you. <laughs> that was easy. Okay, now these stupid ass little Vernars. It's okay, we have enough fuel. Down they go. Alright, so next is going to be the Battle of Duma. I'll see you guys there. Duma! 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 Okay, Battle of Duma. <laughs> Йоханы баба, сколько корабликов. Окей. Окей. Actually, this isn't too bad either. Let's maybe arm first lightning with AP rounds and then the other one with proximity fuses in case I need to use them. But I think high explosive is just the way to go. I mean, high explosive, it does a lot of damage, so it's like... <laughs> Who gives a shit? Oh, there's also a runner. That's uh, it's a bit of a problem. Uh, that means they're gonna launch infinite amounts of missiles at me. Ah, who gives a shit? Let's go. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Quickly, 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 quickly. Kill the Heron. Kill it. You shut up, please. Okay, one head on is down, I think. Yes! Okay, now Telemachus, Telemachus, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here! Let me touch you! Блядь, столько ракет! Артиллерии! Oh, our fuel is burning. Okay, I might have to deal with the small guys first. Since they are pretty annoying. Oh shit, we just got hit by a missile. Not good, not good, not good. Okay, you know what? Let's get the other lightning into battle. Okay, there we go. Okay, that was a rough start, but... Ah, we survived. Come on, die, please. Fucking die. Planes. Watch out. Missiles and planes. Ay, ay, ay. It's not good. It's not work. Ah. 57 millimeter ass. Shut up. So if I can aim properly. Oh, come on, why are these things so hard to kill? You'd think having a large fuel tank is so easy to kill. It's not. Okay, that was Battle of Duma. I think I'll take it. Duma! So... <laughs> oh shit, that was a... That was a nice little voice crack there. <clears throat> Alright, so we have just liberated Viskri and Duma. So let's just do a bit of uh, salvage operations at uh, Duma. One thing that I don't like about this battle is the fact that um, we got the first lightning a little bit destroyed. Ah, just from the starboard side. But otherwise, I think we did quite well. I think we can live with this amount of damage. It's not bad. But there is a good amount of components that we could salvage, though. 
Uh, we do need to watch out for the ammo here. So, so it doesn't explode everything else. Let's first land the Argilos at uh, Viskri. Let's open up this uh, town, see what's going on there. Oh, it's a caravan. Ooh. You know what? I think I'm gonna ask them about the cargo convoys. Because I sort of know where to look for a Tarhan or a loyalist that could join us. And... It's not hard to find hidden cities. Plus, I already found one, so it doesn't really matter that much. So let's just find cargo convoys. Give us as much intel as possible. Uh, let's take a look at the ships here. 80. Nice. A rook. A worm. Okay, that's like a Yars. Yars MK2. That's, we already have one of these, I believe. And the uh, fat man. Anything in the ship works worth uh, getting? Nope. Okay, let's. Uh, ooh, there's a bunch of cargo convoys. Let's just let me just uh, <clears throat> just take a take a little a little screenshot. Okay, so pretty much all of the cargo convoys that you see here are in this region of the map, which could be in our favor if we take these guys carefully and there's nothing too rapey in this region that could either strike us with missiles or planes or shit like that but i mean we are going to have to move into this area anyway because of this town right here um pelika which is another rebel stronghold what i'm planning is to move along these rebel strongholds and also taking any towns that are otherwise needed until we move to the area around Haravera we're gonna clear out a bunch of towns around Haravera including some really strategic uh, cities and uh, we'll see what happens at the end game I have no idea what's gonna happen I'm assuming it's going to be a similar ending to the original game, but uh, I don't know, like, I heard that the ending is a little different, I don't know, we'll see. So let's land the guys at Duma, Duma! Okay, more loot to gain. Um, oh, we could do either keeping the scrap, so we could keep the ships, rare modules, or exchange for intel. Uh, you know, let's keep it. Oh, that just gave us a bunch of repair bonus. Ah, okay. That could actually be useful to repair this guy right here. This motherfucker. It's gonna take 15 hours, but um, who gives a shit? I'll just repair this guy. Okay, we saved game. That's not bad. Wait, is there a Tarhan here? No, there isn't. Because I could have sworn there was a Tarhan somewhere around this area. Wait, it says far northeast of Palok. Palok is right here. Ah, shit. Okay. I'm guessing the next Tarhan is located at either Manastir or Artopolis. I mean, we are going to probably have to liberate these two towns anyway, because we are going to have to somehow move the main fleet forward. And the reason why I've given them some fuel is so that they could reach Manastir. Alright. Uh, here, let's do... Let's do a little bit of landing. Unfortunately, I won't be able to land the completely broken lightning because uh, it doesn't have the landing gear in order to do so. But the one that I'm going to land is a little bit damaged, but um, once we get that thing repaired, uh, we could send the lightning number two and number three 
to take the other towns that uh, we need. So, yeah. Oh, sorry, not take, liberate, sorry. Huh. Let's put this thing for repair first. Okay, and the Argilos is just going to join forces with these guys. Argilos is actually a really damn good tanker. It has a good amount of range. Which is also good because of the capability of using planes too. We could also do some aerial reconnaissance and shit like that. Make sure we're not stumbling into some really ass rapey shit, you know? Let's check Artopolis and let's check Manastir in case there is anything that could potentially harm us. Well, harm us strategically, of course, not tactically. Who gives a shit about tactically? And we're gonna liberate these two towns, and then after that, we're going to move in to Pilika. I'm assuming Pilika is going to be slightly more heavily armored, or slightly heavier resistance. So I might have to use my big ships to fight there. But I'm only going to do that if I know for sure there's no strike groups or tactical groups that could fuck some shit up. Mm, that's a missile carrier. That's uh, that's not good. That's really not good. Okay, and how about Manastir? Oh wait, I just realized. Manastir. Manastir. Hmm. There are two towns with the same name, and they're not far from each other. Was it this way before? Okay, I have no idea. Uh, because I did reinstall the mod back. So there might be some glitches left or something. I don't know. Oh, speaking of, let's check the intel. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it would be a good idea for these guys to just join forces. <laughs> okay, so it's a damn good thing that this is an intel town because what I've just found out is that we have a strike group right here. Right next to these guys. Okay, let's switch off the radar so that the strike group doesn't detect my small ships. My lightning number four. <laughs> oh yeah, I decided to also name those lightnings by numbers. Uh, because I have just so many of them. How's the repairs looking? For the main fleet. Ah, the usual. Okay, I guess these guys are just gonna chill out for another 20 hours. And... Once they do, we're going to put them to work. Okay, let's check. Manastir. Oh, shit. Uh, aha, there's an aircraft carrier here. At Manastir. Okay, and they just sent another La-29 after me. Okay. Can we dogfight it? Let's try dogfighting this plane. What could possibly go wrong, right? La 29 versus La 29. I think La 29 will win. Actually, it seems more like La 29 will win. Do 
you guys think La 29 will win? Or do you think La 29 will win? Oh, La 29 is... Oh. I mean, technically speaking, La 29 and La 29 have won. So... Ah, good. Good, good. So, what did, what did we learn from this um, aerial reconnaissance? Well, Manastir is defended with an aircraft carrier. I'm assuming it's the Telemachus. And there's also a missile carrier in Artopolis. I'm assuming a dedicated missile carrier. So, something like a... Uh, I don't know, a Hound or an Eagle or something like that. I forget the exact names for each of these enemy ships. But that's not such a huge deal because we do have a, a third or rather fourth lightning coming in so once these join forces we're going to move in to Manastir and Artopolis and from there we're gonna go to Pelika and that's probably going to be this episode yeah we'll see if we can do that now Okay, so here, what about the lightning that's being repaired? Ah, it looks solid, all right. <clears throat> okay, this plane needs to be repaired. Sprints, we don't really need those so much. Okay, so let's just let these guys refuel receive repairs and we're going to go in on an offensive to Manastir, Artopolis and Pilika and simultaneously we're also going to finally get these guys off of their asses and fly to Manastir Okay, I just got another message from this uh, strike group. It seems that they are heading towards Pedapolis. I'm assuming. But I mean, the strike groups definitely don't know about our whereabouts. So that's definitely a good thing. But uh, they are getting an awful lot close though. But I reckon once we move to this side of Trachea... Whatever strike groups are going to have a pretty tough time reaching us because we're going to be just so far away. Unless there are a couple in this northern area, but I don't know. We have killed a couple of them and some of them are actually somewhere in the south. So, I don't know. It's um, <clears throat> not sure exactly how many strike groups there are left. I might have to check that later on, but uh, we'll have to see. So... Let's prepare a group to go for Artopolis and for Monastir. So, Eri, uh, Merkinos, number one. Wait, that's just a Merkinos. Huh? Okay, that's number one. Number one and number three, you guys go for Artopolis. Yes. And once uh, this other lightning gets repaired, we're gonna send this and lightning number four to go for Manastir. Oh. 
Alright, so Battle of Artopolis. Let's go. Let's see if we can actually do this more or less normally. Not like the Battle of Duma. <clears throat> Bleh. <laughs> Look at these two ships right here. This is not good. This is not good. Okay, so what I'm thinking is... We take out the two phoenixes with armor-piercing rounds from one lightning. <clears throat> and with the others, I'm going to have to use proximity fuses to dodge any sort of missiles. Or should I do this the other way around? First I dodge all of the missiles and deal with the, uh, the gladiator and the other lightning. And then I'll just... Um... Would it be better to first deal with the tougher ships? Yeah, actually no, we are doing a silent strike, so it's, it's better if we attack the heavier ships first, and then we go for the riffraff. Alright, let's go, bitches. Alright, where's the phoenix? There, here we go. Here we fucking go. Aye, aye. Already not good. Already. Okay, one is down. One fucker to go. That's a lightning. It's quite rare that there are lightnings in garrisons. Completely wrecked their asses, but we did suffer some casualties. Uh, yeah. Ooh. More, I think more maneuverable in combat, for sure. Nice, okay. Okay, there's nothing in Artopolis, but that's not such a huge deal. Let's buy a bunch of armor piercing rounds. Because we might need it for the next battle. Sell this thing. Ah, we are going to also have to rescue the Eri, but that's not such a huge deal. I'll do that in just a moment. Alright, but right now, Battle of Manastir. Let's go. Please be a silent strike. Silent strike, please. Holy fucking shit, it's a Sava. Oh, this is gonna be a rough battle. This is gonna be rough. Okay. Let's go in with proximity fuses, open up with proximity fuses. We'll kill the Argilos and the Vanellus. And we'll try to somehow kill the enemy Sava. I'll also arm it with uh, armor piercing. Ah, this is gonna be such a rough battle. Oh shit. Okay. Let's go. Okay. <clears throat> what? Wait, 
Why is only one turret working? What? Do I not have another gun? Oh, that's a problem. I didn't realize that I didn't have another turret. Okay, I'm guess, I guess I'm just gonna have to use one gun then. Okay, this is getting really annoying really quickly. Ah, shit, this is not good. Okay, kill this guy. What's really annoying is that all three of the ships have, have spawned. Including the big one. Okay, let's try to hide behind the... Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! There we go. Okay, there we go. Let's use the armor piercing lightning. Alright, come here then. Bitch ass, come here. Using your stupid ass artillery. Why is my lightning so slow? Let me puncture your ass. Come on. Okay, there's the Savar. Oh, come on! You stupid ass! Potentially, that could be 
more legitimate, legitimate tactic. Oh shit. No, I don't. Okay. I punctured some of the armor. It's gonna take a while to kill him, though. Let's use high explosive now, because I think I did puncture some of the armor. And it would be better if I could explode his ass. Where I did already puncture him, so... Yeah, yeah, this seems to be working. A bit of attrition damage. Just keep firing at him. Nice, we did it. maneuverable in combat please so we have just liberated Manastir and Artopolis but uh, because we have taken quite a while to do so I think I am going to have to probably finish here just to keep things short and concise and everything I mean we did complete one of our objectives today which is to find um, and also liberate Duma so I believe it is reasonable enough if we just just leave uh, Pelika for the next one. And so, this uh, is going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. I sure am. And if you're new here and you're more interested to see how this campaign has been going, uh, here is the playlist for this uh, Flight to Haravera playthrough. Maybe if you don't want to watch that, here's a, here's a video that could be interesting. And channel logo to the right, it'll take you to the main page. But otherwise, thank you all so much for watching and have a nice day.